In this video, I want to go through a few more examples of calculating the bond order. So in the previous video, we introduced the equation for the bond order, right? That is the number of bonding or electrons minus the number of anti-bonding electrons over two, right? So what I wanted to do was uh, go through a few more examples of applying this that are outside of the realm of H2, right? Because the first example we looked at was H2. Then we did H2 minus. So let's move off of hydrogen and move on to, to two other uh, homonuclear diatomics uh, that we can use here to, uh, to, to use the bond order to calculate bond strength. So the first example that I want to look at is lithium. So Li2, the lithium molecule. So lithium's uh, valence electron configuration, right? So if we're using noble gas notation, its electron configuration is helium. 2s1 right so we have molecular orbitals that are going to be a result of interactions of electrons that are in 2s orbitals right so that means that we're going to have a very similar interaction to hydrogen but the parent atomic orbital is going to be very different so s orbitals when they uh come together and it's just one um, you know, one electron in an S orbital coming together with another single electron in an S orbital, they're going to interact very similarly, but the parent atomic orbitals are going to be different. So let's draw its uh, MO diagram. So we got the energy here, right? So on the left and right hand side, I'm going to have the lithium 2S right here. Uh, and these guys are going to form two molecular orbitals. right? Lithium 2s here as well, right? They're going to form two molecular orbitals just like the 1s orbitals did, right? We're going to have a sigma star 2s and a sigma 2s, right? So let's fill in our electrons here, right? So we got one electron from lithium here, one electron from the other lithium atom. And so we only have two electrons total. So those, these guys are going to come together and pair in the sigma 2s orbital, right? So we have a, a, a MO diagram that looks very similar to H2, right? The only difference is gonna be the parent atomic orbital here. So let's calculate bond orders. So for the bond order here, we're gonna have two electrons in the sigma 2s, and we're gonna have none in the sigma star 2s. So two bonding electrons and no antibonding electrons going to divide that guy by two. So that gives us a bond order of one, right? So exactly the same as we got for H2. So this has a similar bond strength, right? Okay. So the other thing that I want to point out is that similar to um, atomic orbital electron configurations, you can write out electron configurations for uh, molecular orbitals as well, right? So by electron configurations, I'm talking about this type of thing. Right. So if I were to write out this electron configuration in full, we would have, you know, 1s2, 2s1. Right. So you can write these types of configurations for molecular orbitals as well. So the um, electron configuration here would be sigma 2s2. Right. So this is saying that there is a bonding 2s orbital that has two electrons in it. Right. So that would be our electron configuration for lithium dimer, lithium Li2. Okay, so let's move on to another example. Let's go to uh, the beryllium dimer, Be2. So Be, uh, beryllium has a electron configuration of helium 2s2, right? It's the other in the other column over from lithium, right? So it's gonna have two electrons in the s orbital so let's draw out the molecular orbital diagram for beryllium dimer so we got the energy here here we're going to have the beryllium 2s again just like the other 2s orbitals it's going to form two molecular orbitals right so on both sides we got the beryllium 2s Right. This is going to be a sigma star 2s and this is going to be a sigma 2s. OK, let's fill in our electrons. 
So we're going to have two electrons in this beryllium, two electrons in this beryllium. They're going to get involved in the bonding. So those four electrons have to be distributed between these two orbitals. So two of them are going to go into bonding orbital and two of them are going to go in the antibonding sigma star 2s. Okay, so calculating a bond order. So we're going to have two electrons in a bonding 2s orbital, uh, a bonding sigma orbital, and two electrons in an antibonding orbital, right? Two bonding electrons, two antibonding electrons. Divide that by two. That's going to give you a bond order of zero, right? So whenever you get a bond order of zero, that is indicative of an unstable bond, right? A bond that would be unlikely to form. Right, so this is going to be a bond that is unstable. So beryllium dimer actually is not a stable molecule. Be2 is not a stable molecule. And we see why from this electron configuration, right? We have just as many electrons um, in antibonding orbitals versus bonding orbitals. So these beryllium atoms really gain nothing by bonding with one another because they're going to form this distribution where they're equally as likely to not form a bond as form a bond, right? Um, look, for practice, let's write out the electron configuration for this guy, though. So we got two in the sigma 2s. So we're going to have sigma 2s, 2, and we'll have sigma star 2s, 2, right? So this will be the electron configuration for beryllium dimer, um, two electrons in the sigma 2s and two electrons in the sigma star 2s. Okay, so that's two other examples for bond order um, that come from also homonuclear diatomics, right? So, um, so this is going to be just a, just useful to go through a couple more examples that are outside of the realm of hydrogen, even though these were still fairly similar. So now you'll notice that we've only talked about S orbitals at this point. We talked about one S orbitals and two S orbitals. What happens when there are electrons in P orbitals that are coming together? They're going to form different molecular orbitals. So, um, so that's going to be the topic of the next video is, you know, what, what happens when we have these two P orbitals or, you know, any P orbital in general that are also getting involved in these types of interactions.